Hi, Miss Benita here. Welcome back. This is the last lesson in changing landforms and it is broken up into two parts. In the last lesson, we gathered different pieces of evidence to help us explain how landforms can erode quickly. In this lesson, we'll create diagrams and write explanations about why the nearby cliff eroded overnight. So let's begin with this first activity, looking at the use of evidence in diagrams. Our ideas about how landforms erode quickly have changed as we've learned through reading books and investigating models. The information we've gathered from models and text can be used as evidence to support our ideas and explanations. When scientists gather more evidence, they often revise their ideas based on the new evidence. This means they also revise their diagrams to help explain their new ideas. Why is it important for scientists to revise their ideas based on evidence? Revision is an important part of learning. Remember when we started out with this chart? How can landforms erode quickly? We added ideas as we learned them. And this is how we revised our ideas through the unit. We kept track of the things that we learned based on the evidence that we gathered. All right, this is the last activity in part one of the last lesson. Let's do a little bit of diagramming, okay? We created diagrams of how this cliff could have eroded overnight, but now we have new ideas about how this could have happened. We now have some more information about the nearby cliff that might help us think about how it eroded quickly. Some of this information might be useful and some of it might not be. Our first job will be to see which information is useful for explaining why the nearby cliff eroded so quickly. Let's take a look at the new information. There is a walking path nearby. Plants are growing in the area. The ocean is at the bottom of the cliff. The cliff is made of loose soil and clay. The color of the cliff is brown. When a person picked up some small pieces of the cliff, the pieces crumbled in the person's hand. Let's review each piece of information to decide whether it helps us ex explain how the nearby cliff could erode overnight. Okay, you'll find these in your packet as well. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and review them. You might want to circle some that you think might be helpful. This is what they look like in their packet. All right, what ideas do you have about the new list of information here? Make sure we support our ideas with what you know about erosion, all the things that you've learned. All right, some of you said that this might be helpful that the ocean is at the bottom of the cliff, because we know that waves do cause erosion. And some of you checked this box here, right? Or circled it. The cliff is made of loose soil and clay. And we know that loose materials erode more quickly. And others of you picked this one. When a person picked up some small pieces of the cliff, the pieces crumbled in the person's hand. That's evidence that it's not hard rock. All right, so let's see how we can use these new pieces of information. I'd like you to turn to this page in your packet, diagramming how the nearby cliff eroded. Let's review the directions. 
And remember, if you do not have the packet, any piece of paper that you have in your household and a pencil will do just fine. First, let's visualize how the nearby cliff could erode quickly based on the evidence we have. In this diagram from yesterday, the nearby cliff was bigger. And then today, you can see that it's been worn away. It doesn't have that same angle, right? It's kind of crumbly right here. Now, I'd like you to create your new diagram in the center using what you know about how landforms erode quickly. If a family member is available, maybe the two of you can get together and do this together. Go ahead and pause the video so that you can work on it. All right, welcome back. Let's review. Some of you drew the cliff as big pieces of rock were coming off. And this happened overnight because some of you thought that a storm came through and, the, and others of you drew rain coming in and gusts of wind and big waves crashing. You included the ocean is at the bottom of the cliff and that's where the waves came from and that the cliff is made of loose soil and that's where these big pieces of rock have fallen from. All right. We use new information about the nearby cliff to help us think about how it eroded quickly. In the next lesson, we will put it all together to explain why the nearby cliff eroded so quickly. See you then. Hello everyone. Thanks for coming back and joining us for the last part of the last lesson in changing landforms. This video is broken up into two activities and we are going to be writing our scientific explanations. We just discussed and diagrammed ideas about what caused a nearby cliff to erode quickly in part A video. It is now time to explain to Director Higgins why this happened to the nearby cliff. Turn to this page in your packets, the end of the unit writing, explaining the nearby cliff. Before we begin writing, let's review what a scientific explanation is. What is a scientific explanation? It answers a question. It's based on science ideas you have learned. It is shared with someone and it uses science words. You have this in your packet, and if you don't have the packet, you can pause the video to think about this. I took the question, the, the points of the scientific explanation and turned them into questions so that you can think about what you want to include in your writing. You can fill in the my ideas part, and then as you write, you can check to see if you used these ideas. So as we're writing our scientific explanation, we will be thinking about everything that we've learned. You can use your packets to find those key concepts, the vocabulary you've gathered throughout the unit, your, the evidence you've gathered, and the diagrams you've drawn to help you guide your writing. And since you're not in the classroom right now, we put together all of the key concepts from each of the chapters so that you can have them. Pause the video and review them and then decide which ones you'd like to, to use in your writing. It's always helpful to have lists when you write. See you in a bit. All right, let's review what has been written. Someone has submitted this writing sample. Let's take a look. So the question we were answering is, why did the nearby cliff erode overnight? The nearby cliff eroded overnight because it is a landform made of loose materials. A big storm happened overnight. It had powerful gusts of wind and rain hitting the cliff. 
The nearby cliff is by the ocean and big waves crashed against it during the storm. All of this caused the cliff to lose pieces of rock. It eroded overnight. Mr. Higgins, this is why the nearby cliff changed so quickly. Erosion happens quickly to landforms made of loose rocks and that or that have cracks in them. All right? Let's think about this. Let's use another checklist that's in your packet as well. Here are some writing tips. So let's take a look at this writing and see if these writing tips have been included. Is there an explanation of how the nearby cliff eroded overnight? Here's a start of one right here. A big storm happened overnight. All right? What about the next one? Is there an explanation of why it changed so quickly? It's down here at the bottom, perhaps. Erosion happens quickly to landforms made of loose rocks or that have cracks in them. Okay. How about the explanation uh, beginning with the sentence that answers the question? Well, this is what's been helpful is that we had a sentence in here. The nearby cliff eroded overnight because it is a landform made of loose materials. And did we, is this writing piece to an audience, to Director Higgins? Well, his name is, is included here. It says, Mr. Higgins, this is why the nearby cliff changed so quickly. And is there a description of the erosion changing the shape of the landform? Let's see. All of this caused the cliff to lose pieces of rock. All right, remember, as you are writing, make sure that you go through and see if you've included these pieces. Again, these are all helpful in writing your final explanation. I'll see you in a bit. We have explained why the nearby cliff eroded overnight. Do you think the same thing will happen to the Recreation Center's cliff? Why or why not? This is a great question to talk over with a family member. So here we have the nearby cliff made out of this loose rock material. And then here's that picture of the Oceanside Recreation Center. All right, so our last activity is talking about preventing erosion. We have been investigating the Recreation Center's cliff to determine whether it is safe for people to keep visiting Oceanside Recreation Center. Some people have to deal with landform erosion in their everyday lives. Erosion is a process of change, but sometimes people want landforms to remain stable. To keep landforms stable, People try to prevent erosion from happening. Sometimes when people want to stop a hill from eroding, they plant trees there. Once the trees are big, their roots help hold the dirt in place. Why do you think this might be a good way to prevent erosion? Now, these are numbered questions that you will find in your packet. And if you don't have your packet, you can just write down your thoughts. You can talk to someone else about what you're thinking, or you can just think about it in your head. Why might this be a problem? Why is this plan problematic? Here's another one, preventing erosion by building terraces. Sometimes when people want to keep water from flowing down a hill quickly, they make flat areas in the hillside. These are known as terraces. This slows down the water and soil that move down the hill when it rains. Building terraces into a hillside can prevent erosion. Terraces make more of the land flat instead of steep. 
Why do you think this might be a good way to prevent erosion? And what might be a problem with this plant? What are some other ways people might be able to slow erosion or to stop it from happening? Congratulations! We learned so much about erosion and helped Director Higgins figure out what's happening with the Recreation Center's cliff and how it's different from what happened in, to the nearby cliff. And I think you can consider yourselves pretty expert on changing landforms. Ms. Fung and I certainly think so. And as you are out walking about in your neighborhoods with your family, look for areas that show signs of erosion. And you might want to talk about why you think that part of your neighborhood has erosion. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time.